Hello everyone. I hope everyone's fighting fit and ready to go tonight. Um, if you feel like uh, you haven't had enough movement today and you would like to stretch out and do something a little bit fun and a bit different, then come join me. We're going to um, use one of these today. So this is our big prop today. We're going to use a chair. Not even a great chair, just a chair. Um, some weights, as always. If you want, you can use a med ball, but you don't need it. Everything we do, I will show you an alternate. Um, I'm going to tag some people in just to say hi, because it is so lovely to see everyone tag in and just hang and, you know, half y'all sitting down there uh, having a glass of wine. Um, some of you have gone over and um, liked uh, Brianna Physical, which I'm so grateful for. I really, really appreciate it. It's so cool. Um, I'm looking forward to putting some um, other videos on there, a um, little bit different stuff, not just exercise, bit of everything. Um, but for now, you know, I think a lot of people feel like they have, you know, moved a little bit or got out of a bit of a routine. And so six o'clock every night, um, I'm going to tag you, I'm going to say hi, and um, I'm going to, you know, take you through some exercises that hopefully you really like. I do. I really like it when you join me here. It's great. Um, it's such a beautiful evening here. So I'm looking forward to sharing um, this cute little workout that I've put together that is super, super simple. As I said, all you need is um, a chair. And if you've got a mat and you can put that onto your chair, then that's good because it keeps it a little bit stable, but you don't need it. You just need your body and some uh, weights if you've got them. Can of beans will do, some, I don't know, some heavy books, whatever you've got hanging around. Now's the time um, to get moving. All right, so um, first off, first off, first, uh, we're just going to warm up. So uh, I really like doing this it's just fun it makes me feel like a kid again so um, just warm up your legs so now's the time to use our wonderful prop the chair and you can just hold on to this and back and forth makes you feel a little bit more coordinated so we'll just go back and forth swing our legs because it's fun oh my gosh it feels good especially when you've been um, on a computer uh, for a little while or you've been sitting on a couch or chair or the floor somewhere where you normally haven't been so we're gonna do five more of these four three two and one and then we're just gonna go out and then back in again so we'll just do a few of these not very many so two three and this just warms up our hips four and five and we're done for that side if you can flip your chair around, very technical stuff, and swing your leg on the other side. <sighs> How many people lost their crap today? It's funny because I think sometimes you feel like you've um, lost it internally, but you haven't lost it externally, and other days you're just like, yeah, screaming at everyone. Um, today was a sort of more internal day for me than an external day, so my kids were very grateful for that. So another five of these, four, three, just swing your legs, feels good. Two, loosens up your back. And one, and then just these little outside, inside. So one, two, three, four, five. We'll do another two, because we did about seven on the other side. And two, okay, swing your arms. One and two. And if you want, you can squat when you're doing these, if you want. Just little tiny bouncy movements. We haven't warmed up yet. So you're gonna do 10, nine, eight, seven. So if you haven't got a chair, now's the time to grab one. All right, chair and something weighty. A child will do, a uh, toddler preferably. I don't know if I could pick up my 14 year old. I think she could pick me up maybe. All right, and our arms are now warmed up. All right, so. Um, before we get, I haven't gone, before we get into um, our chair, we're going to, our chair, hmm, um, before we use our chair, we're going to do some skiers. So that's just down and up and down and up. And we're going to do 20 of these, which feels like um, just 10 on each side. So ready? 
One, two, three. Now, just as much as you can do. If you can like really leap in the air, fantastic. If you don't, doesn't matter. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. You want the weight on your heels here when you're going back here. So, nine, <laughs> eight, seven. Good excuse to stress for a minute there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, okay, shaking out. Ooh, all right. Um, grab your weights. I know the anticipation is killing you, not using the chair, but we will. Now, um, this is a bit of advice that I got from Tracy Anderson. If you're a boy, grab as high a weights as you want. If you're a girl, um, she doesn't recommend more than two and a half, um, I think two kilos. Um, she doesn't impound, so who knows. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go up and down. That little Henry the Octopus move. So Sarah, if you're watching, this is something you can do. All right, we're gonna go 15 of these. So five, four, three, two, nice and controlled, one, last 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let those arms drop a little bit and give it a bit of a shake. All right, um, you can keep your weights if you want. I'm not gonna. Um, I'm gonna move you out just a little and drop those weights because of course that's gonna happen. All right, um, this is a little exercise and it was one of the ways that I really um, got quite, uh, I got quite uh, well-defined quite quickly um, after I had my third baby and I lost 62 kilos with my third baby. So it wasn't easy. Um, all right, and this is all you do. You're like, if you're on a, um, tabletop and you're going to from side to side. So you're gonna side, side, and then we're gonna bend at the waist, and that feels good. Side, side, bend at the waist. I'm gonna do 20 of those. Yes, 63, I was a size 22. And you know what? I was happy then, I'm happy now. Um, just like being really strong, it's good for you. So that's one. Oh, two. Three, four, five. So I wonder who is a um, an internal freak out rather than an external an external freak out. Hey, that's seven, eight. So just this tiny little, tiny little side side bend forward, side, side, bend forward. So you're keeping your hips still. One, two, bend. Obviously when you're bending, you're not keeping your hips still. So we've got five more to go. Feels so good in your lower back. One, two, bend. One, two, bend. Three more to go. One, two, bend. One, two, bend. And last one, one, two, bend. Now that should feel really good. I'm gonna jump our heart rate up just a little bit. So tap the back of your legs. Uh, sorry, with your butt. Your legs with your, your feet with your butt, okay? What I'm gonna do 15, 14, 15, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, I've just noticed that the dog washing towel is in the background. Fantastic. My kids are amazing. They really help out when they clean when we clean the house. Um, but you know, there's always something that's left somewhere. Okay, now two ways you can do this. You can grab your weights, one of which I chucked on the ground here earlier. You can use your weights, or you can um, use your ball. Now we're just gonna do that side to side thing. So that's this t-shirt's a bit baggy, but we're gonna go one, two, one, two, and it gives you nice V, gives you really good strength in your back as well. Little tabletop move. Um, 
I'm gonna do it again. You can hold your weight like this, just a little side back, side back, side back, a little tiny movement. Um, I'm gonna do it with the ball, just for a bit of something different. So one, two, one, two, and that's two. And three, four, five. I swear to God, if you stand up and do these, even if you're like sitting down and just do this little tiny movement, you will feel it. Right, eight, nine, 10, 11, I can give you some tips on how I lost all that weight if you really want. 13, 14, 15, 16. Why do you think I know all these exercises? 17, this is a large part of it. 18, 19, and 20. And we're done. Okay, um, those ones, that is. Okay, um, right, uh, what are we gonna do? Oh, we did that. All right, so now we're going to get the chair. So, grab your kitchen table chair. Um, if you can, grab a glass of water and have a drink. I'm still here. Hey, Amber, I can't believe you're here. This is so amazing. It's so cool to see you. Oh, who else have we got? Hi, Margaret. And hi, Meryl. And hi, Ruth. Really good to see you all. Okay, where are we? Um, okay, uh little car phrases. So just to get us going, chair, hold the back of your chair, and we're just gonna go up. Now, I'm gonna put my chair back so you can see my toes. So I saw um, uh, one of the directors or something of the Australian Ballet do this recently, and what he said is you're rolling, if I remember this right, I'm not the head of the Australian Ballet, but you're rolling on the balls of your foot feet. That's, that's the object here. So we're gonna do 20 of these starting now. So that's one, two, bonus points if you've done some already, three, four, slowly, five, really controlled, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Count in your head. If I've tagged you, I know there's a lot of um, really determined people out there that maybe have lost um, some of their normal schedule um, and you know maybe this affects you and maybe it doesn't um, but most of the people I know are really really high performing individuals pretty much everyone I know actually got a type you guys you guys are high performing we got five more to go four should peel a little bit now three two one so Life permitting, six o'clock every night, you'll see me here, or I'm Brianna Physical, depending. Um, give your legs a little bit of a shake out after those, and grab your weights. So, chair, and weights. All right. Um, so, same, you wanna put your foot up on the chair, because that's elegant, right? Um, and the same arm that is on your chair, you're just gonna squat down a little bit. So we're gonna go squat and up. Now, if you want both weights, then by all means, both weights. Squat and up. And just that little tiny, you wanna do a little hip hop here, you know, as if you're like a cheerleader. So up and hip hop, up and hip hop. And what that does is just squeeze your butt in a little bit. Gives you just a little bit of an extra exercise. All right, 10 on each side of these. So one and two and three, hey Luke, and four, and five, and six, this is legs, and butt, and abs, and arms, and we're at 10, and we're gonna go to the other side of the chair. So I'm just gonna drive my chair over. You guys can just step wherever you need to step. Now that's why I put the mat down, because the chair can slide a little bit. You've got a slidey chair, all right. So, um, feet out so your toes are pointing away from um, the back of your chair. And you're just gonna do a little squat. So if you need to shuffle your legs, then by all means do. And we're just gonna go one, and little hip hop at the front. So let's call that, let's call that zero. This is now one. And two, three, 
four, hopefully you can see that. Five, six, seven, gosh, these feel good in the bag. Eight, nine, and 10, just like that, you're done on this side. Yay, little shake out, one more drink. It's a bit of a thirsty night tonight, I think. If you all are drinking wine, I am so jealous. All right, where are we up to? All right, we did those. Um, I had to write like full instructions for those. I'm like, what, what are they? Those are Plato something or others. All right. Um, all right. So we're just gonna do a few hooks just to get that upper body warmed up before we go into the next chair exercise. So yes, the chair is in front of me, that's okay, because we are gonna use the chair again. Don't need weights, you just need the upper body. So you see I'm doing a lot of these sort of tabletop moves, we're gonna keep with that. So we're not gonna swing, and we're not gonna do a full rotation um, hook like you would in boxing. We're just gonna keep our legs really still and our, um, our hips really still, and we're gonna go round and back round and back. Don't need weights. So that's two and three. Should feel really nice, nice and controlled. Four, five, I think I've just lost a count there. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last five, four, three, two, and one. And drop and shake. Oh, okay. All right, time for the chair. All right, let me see if I can get these camera angles right. Uh, yeah, this side. All right, so grab your chair. Mostly we're gonna be on this side of the chair and moving out. So I'm gonna move back a little bit so you can see all the way through, potentially get spiked by my pretty plant here. Hopefully I can still see the plan. You've got to have the plan. All right. Um, now, these ones are just a tiny little movement. So I'm going to do my left leg first and show you. So we're just going to go up and back. It's super small. So if I face you, we're going to go up and back. Up and back. It's just a tiny little kick of the foot there. Do you again? Leg up, and we're gonna go up and back, and up and back. So it's not like a, a massive swing. You're going way up, and you're not going, because that'll hurt your back, and you're not going way over to the side, none of that. It's just up and back, and up and back. So a tiny little movement of the leg there. So we're gonna do 15 on each side. So, down, we move that forward. So, up and back, one, and two, and three. Feel free to put your arm down on the chair. Five, six, seven, still here. Eight, nine, so shuffle a little bit back, and 10. And then five more. One, two, tiny little movement. Three, this is your upper hips, these saddlebag bits here. That's what that's for. Two, and one. Okay, keep your leg up, and we're just gonna circle. One, two, three, four. So that knee stays bent. Five, six, seven, nine and ten and we've got five more to go five four three feel free to put that arm that uh, arm that's not towards the camera one keep your leg up just point your toe we're just going to do tiny little tiny little movements here and you face forward so straight as an arrow one two three four five six seven eight, nine, ten, and you're done. Let down and shake. All right.
Yay! Give your hips a little bit of a shake because that's a little bit of a hip workout, hey? Um, it's a little bit of a hip shake. It's just a little boogie to get your hips sort of squared out. Then we get to go the other side. All right. So once again, that's just a little tiny leg up movement and it's to get this side bit, which is so hard to get, right? This side and back bit. So leg up and we're just going back and forth back and forward so see a tiny little movement all right so we're going to do 15 so that's one two three four these should feel good five six make you strong seven eight nine ten try and keep that um, leg that's uh, standing soft so don't you know um don't hold your knee out there all right five more to go five four three two and one and keep your leg up and we're going to circle so 15 of these five four three two and one and we've got ten more ten nine eight Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. And then we're just gonna hold up and we're just gonna kick up. So just tiny little, remember to soften your knee that's holding on the ground. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down we go. Ooh. All right, little hip shake, little hip shake, because that felt good, but that was hard. So this, that gets these side bits here, right? Everyone struggles with that. Little side all bits, because they're hard to get, tiny little muscles. That works, it's good for you, all right? Bit more of a shake. Okay, and my page is turned over, that's not great. All right, where are we? Um, okay. <sighs> yes, all right. Um, now, how am I going to show you this? We're going to curtsy and we're going to go back. So, we're going to curtsy, excuse me, from the back. One and up. So, holding the back of your chair. My chair is here. Hold it onto it. And we're going to go from the back to up, up to the sky. And just that bent knee, uh, leg on the ground, is going to bend. And your uh, leg that you're going to throw up or you've got a very controlledly lift is also going to bend and then we're going to shoot it up to the sky so you'll feel this all down the back of your leg really good for your butt really good for your butt so good okay so curtsy and up and curtsy and up curtsy and up let's call that three four if you want you can put your other arm down on the seat of the chair. Six, seven, eight. These are really isolated, so super good for you. Ten. We've only got five more to go. I'm going to count backwards. So five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, now just keep your leg up. And we're going to go 10 little tiny raises up an inch, down an inch. Keep your body really straight. Two, three, four, five. Soften your standing leg. Two, three, four, five. And then release down slowly. And do a little tiny little back bend. Ah, that should feel good. Another side. All right. So again, to the back. So legs to the back here and we're gonna kick out that looks fabulous on camera I'm glad I wore a skirt okay so knee down and up that's one and two feel free to put your arm down on the chair four five six you'll see that we've got a bit of a theme tonight it's a good one seven eight 9, 
10. Does this make you better in bed? Possibly. It's all about hips. Okay. Last five. Four. Really controlled. Three. Two. And one. And one more down. And up. And then hold it. And 10 up an inch and down an inch, as they say in bar. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And very slowly lift him down. Let him go down. And a little back bend. And then a little shake. His hips a little bit. Hmm? And a lot of hip work. Oh my God, it's good to see you, Paul. Hey, Christine. Six o'clock every night, we're here. All right, when we should be drinking wine, but that comes later. All right, have a little drink. Not, almost done. Seriously, we haven't got that much more to go. Okay, um, well this one's fun. Okay. You get to sit on the chair. That's good, right? So we're sitting. And now, it takes a bit of practice with this one. So just hold, I'm just gonna grip the chair legs here and you're going to cross your legs and then you're going to go up so depending on your kind of chair this will be easier or harder okay so it's not a massive like don't expect to you know kick out like a cheerleader just cross your leg as if you would went hop stuck right and then a little kick out so it's a tiny little movement it really targets this upper area of your thigh here um, and the side again Okay, so hold wherever is comfortable in your chair. And we're gonna go over and up. One, two, and three, and four, and five, and six, seven, hold your belly button here, eight. Wow, I sounded like a primary school teacher. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, five, four, <laughs> three, two one all right i did practice these earlier so i know what they feel like all right shake 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 all right and i have done them in classes before all right same thing so crossing as if you were going to just stuck and up so one let's call that two three four five six Seven. Oh, I can hear everything crunch. Eight, nine, ten. Let's count backwards because it makes us feel. Don't curve your spine. One, oh, five, four, three. Keep your belly tight. Two, and one. And we're done. Sitting up and just a little bow of your back there. Just a little bow. Oh, eyes to the sky. It's like a little cat cow sort of sitting down. It feels good. Really sat back out a little bit. Because you did use your abs, you pulled them in here, which is how that back stayed straight while you were doing those. Quite tough to do. So well done if you got through those. Those were hard. Okay. <sighs> Chair plank. All right. A little sip of water. Uh, water. We're in a chair plank. Now, I'll show you some varieties because they're not like fun, right? So, um, pick your poison. If you can just hold here, and I don't mean just, let me rephrase that. If you can hold here, great. If you can hold and put your leg up, then by all means do. If you feel you can hold, put your leg up and pull it in, then do that too. So, one is hold, and that means um, what, what you're trying to do is bring your... Uh, weight of your toes forward so see that sort of rocking motion you should feel like you're on your toes here yeah? and um, next one is you can just hold your leg up so it's just a little tiny hold now it's actually quite hard so these two ones this one and the hold they're two really quite difficult ones to do so don't feel that you have to do them all right so before we do that we're just going to pedal out our ankles a little bit so as if you would be in a plank, you're just going to just run your legs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This just stretches out your calves. Ten, five more, three, 
two and one. Okay, so get into position and we're going to hold your plank like this or you're going to go up like this until I say stop. Um, those that are pulling their legs in, we're going to go one and two, keep holding, three and four, keep your back really straight, five and six, if you guessed it, fifteen, seven, eight, nine, ten, last five, keep holding, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, legs down, straight onto the other leg. All right, don't rest, um, soften your knee. And if you're just, if you're um, plank holding, excellent, stay there. Um, if you want, you can do a little bend back and then forward. Um, if you're still holding, awesome. Okay, let's hold. And we're just gonna do the same thing, so 15. So one, two, remember you can just hold if you want, or you can just plank hold. Three, four, back really straight, don't bow it. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. And lean back. So soften your knees a little bit and just um, aim for your chest to the ground here. So soften your knees, Whew. take a big deep breath in and drop it down. Hi. All right, leaning up, and a few pedals, two, three, four, five. Now, if you can, last exercise. Go down onto your, um, now make sure your chair is steady, all right? Go down onto your elbows on your chair. And we're just gonna slide our legs out a little bit further. And we're gonna hold a plank. This is just a chair plank. So it's slightly easier than you would be if you were on the ground. Um, now, if you want to, you wanna make this harder, you can tap your knees, uh, tap your toes. So you can do 20 of those. Otherwise, just hold like this. So butt in, that's a really important thing. Your belly button goes up to your spine and your butt is really, really tight. And your eyes are just sort of grazing your thumbs. They're not over your thumbs in this position. All right, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, really controls. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, six, five, four, all the way up, three, two, one, and you're done. All right, ah, bend the knees and just leave your elbows and sort of do a little crouch to release your back. Real gentle like. That should feel really good and then just lift and open. You want to put your hand on the back of your chair Lift and open. It's a bit strange, isn't it? And I'm gonna turn the other way and do the same thing. Normally I'd change the chair around, but I'm not gonna do that today. Okay, you should feel this around your um, arms and your side. You wanna open them up, arms and side. All right, and then just a few little rock backs and forwards, really gently really gently so knees um, now we want to keep them nice and straight we're going to go up and down and this is just a stretch that's all we're doing up and down just that's two we're going to three more three four should feel really good in the abs and five and then on that fifth one eyes to the sky just um tongue to the roof of your mouth and stretch.
stretch those abs here. You work those really hard. That was really good work. All right. <sighs> now watch it. Legs slightly um, more than shoulder width apart. And you're gonna go up and over. And up over the other side. Up and over. We're gonna do exactly the same thing, but we're gonna hold our wrist and just gently, very gently, just stretch that little and rise to the sky. Should feel nice on your wrist outside. Holding the wrist there, so opposite hand to your wrist. Alright. Arms out. And uh, head down. And then pull them behind you. And you want your hands clasped. Or just as close as you can. If you can't do that, that's cool. Grab one of your weights and use that to connect your hands. And you're just stretching the back of your shoulders. So you want your chicken wings together here. So chicken wings together, just like that. You can go up, go up. It's all good. Just not a competition, it's just a stretch. If you want here, you can go down and just release. I'm gonna put this weight down because I don't really need it. Okay. All right, one hand to, oops, I'm move back so you can <laughs> So one hand to your foot, then the other hand to the sky, and really, really try and open those hips up. And it's so cool, awesome. And up and out. Breathe. And then just two elbows. <sighs> And just hang. Gosh, that feels good. Hang, hang, hang. And do whatever you feel like. If you want to do a little circle eights here, really gently, just um, loosen up those hips that we use so much. By all means, do so. All right. And down. Um, and pull that. In my case, left leg up. And just um, sort of move until you can feel the stretch under your leg there. So in my case, I need to go and sort of drop my elbows as close to the mat as I can. And everyone's different. Again, just, you know, if you do things like uh, running and uh, uh, biking, cycling, uh, you'll find that these muscles are really short. Uh, boxing, same thing, lots of jumping. So you shorten those muscles up. You're just not going to be as flexible. <sighs> All right. Really slowly, I'm going to go vertebra by vertebra. I'm going to crawl our feet in, in, one foot by one foot. Another little deep breath in and then out. <sighs> Drop down and then we're really slowly going to rise up real slow. One vertebra on your back at a time. A deep breath in. To all the parents that have to homeschool. To all the people that just learnt the Scotsman has closed its doors. <sighs> to all the people that really want to go down to their local coffee shop and get, you know, like that fantastic hazelnut brew that they do. And one big sigh out. And you're done. Hope everyone had a lovely evening and you've got some dinner waiting. Um, check in with me again, six o'clock tomorrow night. Um, I just love doing some exercise with you all. Um, it makes my day. See you tomorrow night, six o'clock.